okay, this is gonna be a really funny one because um, I always tell you that you should use just a VPN to be secure and serve privately and I also encourage net neutrality like a lot and I really mean it that way. So I just always using something on my own private network at home to at least secure this in a certain way, have some VPN possibilities, firewall and some ways that I can protect this huge amount of Wi-Fi, IoT and all the other smart devices in my home. And that way I was always just going for the solution here in the middle. That's just a pie hole and you probably just know it um, for a couple of years. Just get one of the uh, Raspberry Pis out there, um, install pie hole, um, plug it into your uh, network and have some sort of security and it runs okay, not really fast, but it's okay. On the other side, I already made a video about Firewalla. Um, you can check up here. Pretty beefy solution here, more enterprise-like, uh, really heavy. Gets the job done, has some pretty cool things. The review about it will also come, but today another company reached out to me and that's just pretty cool because um, it's called Deeper Network and they have this solution here right in front of me. Pretty amazing because it's one of the first to decentralize private network solutions. You pay just once, no subscription fee. That means you always just need to buy this little box here for $250. And I just guide you through this, how it's like, what's inside the box, how it's like setting it up the first time. So this should be really easy for beginners like I am maybe, or just really good for professionals who wants to tweak every little slider and every little piece inside the software. So we just take a look inside of it here, what this little device can do and what it's just capable of. And we will just start, like always, right after the intro. So really easy, let's just start what's like in here. I really like the packaging, that's just super simple. So Deeper just reached out to me to um, make a review about this um, little device here. So little disclaimer at this moment, this is just a review sample and they sent it me for free and I will just check it out and give you my really honest um, opinion about it. First impression, <laughs> this is just a really golden box. You get it in silver and in gold. They just sent me over the, the golden version for, for the lols, I don't know why and some paper and nothing more. So you get this USB type A to USB type C cable here, which is violet for some reason, I don't know why. And as well, a little charger here with, okay, it, it's pretty cool that it's just a super charger with quick charge 3.0, pretty powerful little charger here and you're just really needed to because here's a quad core processor in it and two gigs of memory and some other amazing things but we come to this in a second so first point i cannot use this charger because i live in here in europe and this is just an american charger but nevertheless i have enough enough charges lying around as well as this cable i don't need it maybe you need it no problem at this point and so first we just take a look at the paperwork which is just pretty simple um this is the wrong side this is the right side um, that means we are just looking at um, deeper connect setup manual means step one internet connection is working properly no problem step two find the wan port okay plug it in here and we just connecting these together um, in a second we take a look at the device itself step three plugging these together so you just need some LAN cables uh, lying around so um, ethernet on both sides and just plug it between the internet and your router and you're just good to go so or your wi-fi hotspot or whatever you want to do so pretty easy pretty basic and nothing special so this should be fairly easy the first time you just pick it up it feels a little bit light it's aluminum at the outside looks like one machine block here at least the top is just one piece you get it in gold in this epic gold version or just in silver a little bit more slim at the end it's probably just somewhere where you don't see it anymore in the, in the future but it, they try to make it a little bit prettier here and it's just also just anodized and um, it, it gets the job done this rubber feet here on the bottom and on this side you have an ethernet port and with one gig and also one ethernet port on this side so input output and on the other side you just get usb type c for charging two usb type a ports maybe for data or just plugging in some ssds hds whatever and also an hdmi output where you can just connect the monitor to have direct access and direct output from the inside from this here. So now we're just talking about what this little thing is capable of. And after this, 
I would just set it up, try it out for a couple of days and we would just see what is possible with it and if it's good or not. Because first we just need to discuss what is this little device capable of, what's inside here. If this is all just about this device, which um, by the way costs around about $250 at the moment, you can just get it from Indiegogo. The delivery is guaranteed, so at least uh, they get some working models here and I think they will just do it really fine. They are founded with more than half a million euros, so probably a really successful campaign at this point. And you also get one year warranty. So um, for $250, you just get this device and lifetime access to their back end and their just improvements and all the software and firmware updates. But what is just a decentralized private network at this point? So that's just pretty easy. It's like a really democratic way of using the internet like it was intended to, you could say so. So it really comes down to net neutrality. If you think so, uh, when the internet was just born from Tim Berners-Lee, it was just all about having different uh, nodes r all around the world and being connected with each other and every everyone is just served the same way. Everyone has access to the same information and the same servers and everything all around the world. Now it's a little bit different with uh, geo-blocking and whatever out there and also just the your ISPs just maybe restricting some services or not being this powerful or some services just being prioritized than others. The complete idea of being decentralized at this point is that Every user out there using this little machine here uses um, serves at some own server, you could say so. That means deeper network at this point doesn't have hit their own servers like private internet access, for example, all around the world using their servers to just get the, the VPN out. It's more like you really connecting your device to another device out there and just making an encrypted tunnel between these two and maybe you're accessing some other device from, I don't know, Michael living in the US or just whoever just lives in Asia or in Australia and you really just want to access this specific um, location there. And this little device is just capable of delivering 16 simultaneous tunnels to all these different nodes all around the world, connecting you with the complete globe and all the other users, encrypting this from end to end. And I think the idea is just really interesting to think about it. And by the way, you just also get just a seven layer uh, firewall at this point, as well as the ability to, um, for me, really important to block ads and for block all the malware and all the other stuff that maybe wants to access your network and you just really want to prevent it for. And you also just have some ability to um, even configure just parental controls and some other things that you just really need when you have some this advanced security um, device in your network. And as always with parental controls, you can just really um, cut out certain websites, um, do whitelisting, blacklisting, as well as uh, have bandwidth monitor, as well as general um, speaking, some other tracking and monitor features on your network. So you just really know what's going on. You really know what's coming from the internet and what's going out of your network into the World Wide Web. Uh, so these are basically the main features of this little device. No monthly fee at this point. That means you really just need to plug and play. So I will just now plug this in somewhere and I will just tell you where and what it's now supposed to do. So you just really know what I'm now testing. Because here in my setup, it's just pretty easy. I'm now here in my studio. This is just one floor be below my um, flat over there where I'm just delivering this with another uh, hot Wi-Fi hotspot. So I have just here Wi-Fi inside the studio for itself. I'm really isolated to use this light here, um, the color light, um, as well as the lights over me and the hue lights and everything all around me here is probably just running with Wi-Fi. I don't know why, but I just really need it for all the devices and all the things I'm just testing. That means I will not just now use the deeper um, connect mini here to uh, plug it um, right into the uh, cable that's coming here from the wall and to the uh, wife between the wall and the Wi-Fi router just between these two places. So I will just use it down here in the studio for all the different IoT and all the smart devices I have here. And we'll just use it for a couple of days and you will just see what's capable of, what's better and what's worse. And we will come back to this point exactly here and I will cut through it in a couple of seconds and then I will be a few days older and can tell you everything about this little guy here. Well, here I am again. 
So let's now just come to a conclusion and also just talk about what's just really good about the Deeper Mini Connect, what could be just better. Yeah, I don't have it in my hands at the moment because it's now hanging over there at my wall um, between my internet access and my Wi-Fi hotspot because now everything is here running. Um, in this network and it's working pretty fine. So the very first conclusion and the very first really good benefit of this solution is it's really just plug and play. So I just put it between um, these two Ethernet cables and everything was just up and running after a couple of minutes just first booting and I really could access the internet and have some smart features I really notice when just browsing and I also just want to show it in the in the app but the very first thing is just really cool because it's way better than a pie hole and um, way just have to be some sort of technical advanced enough to buy a Raspberry Pi and also just configure it and also just having setting up the right way you just wanted to behave at the point. So I really like the Deeper Mini Connect at this point that it's just one-time payment, you just have the hardware, you just plug it in and everything is just ready to go. But you just probably just only not rely on the hardware itself and what is just uh, configured in the basic configuration. You really just need to open um, the browser and just access the uh, admin center there to get some more uh, configurations and more insights what's just capable of because um, in the basic configuration not everything is just set up the right way. So now we're just taking a look um, what it's like when I'm opening up this on my browser or on my smartphone. Okay, first of all, this is just the Indiegogo um, website where you can just get it for 249 US dollars at this point, a little bit under the um, MRSP that is just getting into the shelves in a couple of months. And I can somehow clarify and really just say okay the price point is just really okay for the feature set you get there are, could be some improvements I will just go to this and when we look taking a look at the um, center here so this is now the admin center from deeper connect to, so every time when I'm now connected to this Wi-Fi here down in my studio where the uh, deeper connect mini is connected to I can access the uh, four times 34 this is not secured website here um, with admin admin you probably first step you always need to to do when you have something like this sort of appliance in your network change the password and change the username to something that's not admin admin for a lot of reasons but what you see here is probably pretty cool you can see always the uh, um, upload and download rates and speeds uh, I will not scl scroll too far to the other side because you would see all my IP addresses and I don't want to share my IP addresses to you one of the first things you just probably should activate is the auto upgrade feature this is not activated um, automatically um, you can always just um, upgrade with an upload by yourself but I would probably just go for the automatic feature at this point. One of the most interesting features is probably the decentralized um, private network and you get the feature that is just automatically activated when you just plug it in the smart road. I would probably leave it that way. You can also just switch it off and disable it completely. This would probably just cannibalize this complete idea of this device or you just go full road and just have the ability to set the, the tunnel for yourself where you just really want to go everything, the complete traffic just transferred maybe from Europe to uh, North America and just access the internet from North America at this point from another device or another devices out there. Also possible works pretty pretty good and really interesting that you can really access all the geo blocked and sites you probably want to access and when it comes to speeds I have no problem at this point I must be honest down here in the studio because of some special special scenarios I have only 30 Mbit up and download. Nevertheless, um, normally I have one gigabit at my home, but I haven't tested this yet. And talking about normal browsing, we just should go to the web filter functionality and the look, take a look at the default configuration here. Um, the default configuration says that the uh, ad blocker is just activated as well as um, the uh, porn blocker is um, normally uh, disabled. I enabled it and tried it and I must be honest it was just pretty easy to find the websites that was not possible um, that this device is just blocking or disabling it so it was really easy for me to access uh, porn sites nevertheless so maybe it's not at this uh, maturity 
at this point to really um, have it out there and can really rely on it that this device is just um, filtering out any um, adult site out there so maybe just um, take a look at it you always can just white and blacklist as I mentioned so you can go into user configuration and just um, paste in all the domains you really just want to block you can just find or you know that probably are served frequently because you're monitoring your network maybe you just want to block it manually here in the user configuration but on the default setting it's not working that good the uh, ad blocker is working okay um, some ads and some scenarios are really tricky and are not blocked um, but um, most of the time it's just working really good and you have just a way cleaner and more simple um, experience when it comes to this point that the ads are not even appearing on your uh, browser so that's just basically the um, whole functionality of this admin center the basics if you want to learn more, more there are a lot of uh, really good um, tutorials and videos on the deeper uh, YouTube channel on the deeper side on the Indiegogo side as well so maybe just look it up there if you want to learn more but uh, I would just want to give you a really short impression what is really good in my opinion what could be better in the future also the manual settings could be a little bit more pushed to its maximum compared to a pie hole where you just have a lot of flexibility but on the other side this has somehow now um, a maturity level wage and can just really use it and for just plug and play and for someone who's not that advanced it absolutely gets the work done and if you really want to rely on a secure network and also on this idea to have a de decentralized access to different countries and geolocations that this could be a really good idea in my opinion as always if you dislike this video you know what to do but if you liked it hit like down there get subscribed and enable the notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future video of the idea of technology and i just want to say thank you very much for watching have a great day bye